Oh there my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn and I've got a grocery haul for you. Now I usually do my grocery hauls on Friday. Yeah, but I needed to pick up prescriptions yesterday at that grocery store. They also hand, I also use their pharmacy. And I use their pharmacy at over at the Albertsons Osco because then I also not only earn rewards um, towards my groceries, but I also earn pharmacy rewards and um, like they have these little health surveys that you take and I lie on mine so I get the maximum number of rewards, you know, whatever, whatever you got to do to save a dollar. I'm okay with it. And you're more serious about it. You know, you tell the truth, baby. I'm going to lie on my health rewards. Anyhow, when I completed the certain tasks over at the Albertsons, getting my prescriptions filled yesterday, got those all bought and paid for, um, and brought those home, then a coupon flipped up for me because I had a brand new prescription um, transferred from another pharmacy, and I did that intentionally knowing that I would get a coupon for $75. So I had that filled first at a different pharmacy. Then I transferred it, got the $75. Your mileage on this may vary, um, and it is hidden in the app. Let me tell you where to find it. So you'll go to pharmacy, you'll put in your um, four digit pin number, and then um, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom where the junk is that you don't usually look at. And then it's going to say something like my re my pharmacy rewards or my health rewards or something like that. Then you'll click on that. I had my $75 off offer. I had 10% off my whole basket offer. I'm saving that for next time. And um, then I had a dollar off of carrots or a dollar off of um, frozen fruit and a dollar off of this, that, and the other thing. Anyhow. I combined all of my rewards to get some things that were super fun. Yay, hooray. Let's do my grocery haul. Let's get down to it, baby. First, let's talk about my free items because those will always be my favorites. So today I got a 12-ounce package of garden salad. This is mostly romaine, but you know what? For free, it's for me. Yes, please and thank you. Also got a five-pound bag of Idaho potatoes. These, again, not necessarily my preference, but for free, all right, it'll be all right, baby. I'll use those up. Got this 24-pack of refresh water. Yes, please, and thank you. I got these baby carrots. Now, I paid 49 cents for these, so they were not exactly free, but they were pretty darn close. So 49 cents used a dollar off coupon. Yes, please, and thank you. Also, not completely free, but this Platinum Plus Power Wash Dawn Dishwashing Detergent. I would never buy this because I am entirely too cheap. And what is this? This is something like 15 fluid ounces of dishwashing detergent. Um, regular price on this for me was $7.99. I paid less than 20 cents for this because I was able to stack my coupons and it's also four times the multiplier. So I got, you know, almost a whole dollar's worth of um, uh, reward points towards next time. Even though I only paid almost less than 20 cents on this. Yes, please and thank you. So let's talk about prepping. A lot of times that we prep, you know, we prep food, we prep flour, sugar, you know, molasses canned goods like you're going to be crossing the country in a covered wagon on the Oregon Trail and you don't want you and all your passengers to die from dysentery yeah I used to play that game they thought that was super fun anyhow what we don't always consider though are small luxuries the little things that make you happy are also really good things to stock up on. You have a favorite brand of mayonnaise? I like Best Foods. I want to make sure I've got plenty in the cupboard because ham sandwiches isn't the same for me without it. Yeah, it's good and I'll eat it, but that fills my heart with joy. So you don't always have to prep 
you know, the stuff from before along the trail. You can also prep and plan for buying some luxury items. Some of the, when we were furloughed in 2020 and the world went haywire and, you know, we were hunkered down here at the house, just, just him and I and the poor little dog, you know. There were days that we just divided the house in two. You stay on this side, I'll stay on this side. I still love you, but we need some, you know, we need some time apart. When we were really, yeah, times were tough. You know, we were, we were just getting regular unemployment, which in Arizona is only um, like $800 and change per month. And you pay taxes on that. Um, when funds were low before the advanced unemployment, we we're just barely scraping by making the mortgage payment and keeping the lights on. It was the small little luxuries, like taking a bubble bath. Um, lighting a candle, you know, um, and sitting there and just doing the meditation and having a few deep breaths and pretending I'm on my Hawaiian vacation. Calgon, take me away. Yes, please. And thank you. Yeah. So it was the little luxuries that actually made life worth, you know, just going on in a crisis. And I'm not talking necessarily about a natural disaster. Maybe, you know, it's a personal crisis or job loss or loss of any other kind and and you know you just need sometimes you just need some comfort so i decided that i was going to prep my pantry today with a few comforting items a few favorites of ours so yeah i was real happy to get this dawn dishwashing detergent i'm gonna put this way back in the back of my cabinet and i'm gonna store that for a day when i'm out of dishwashing detergent i'm kind of down and out low feeling low and i'm gonna pull that out that's gonna make my heart sing because i love new cleaning supplies what else oh i needed dried cranberries so i got this ginormous bag of dried cranberries uh 30 ounces paid less than eight dollars for this with my with my coupons yeah Got an English cucumber because we love them and we just needed that for this week. So we've got some potatoes, we've got some carrots, we've got a cucumber, we've got dried cranberries, we've got fruits and veg. Honestly, I've got a refrigerator. Yeah, we've got cherries, we've got apples, and we have uh, pears. And Melissa brought home a bag of clementines. So we got, and then frozen fruit too. Yeah, I like to keep up on my frozen and canned fruits. Because if you are going to the food pantry, one thing that I always noticed was I never got even enough fresh fruit or canned fruit for, to satisfy me. So I like to just keep it stocked up a little bit. Just always have some on hand. Oh, the Sargenta aged Gouda. Eight slices and then a Sargento creamy baby Swiss. Ten slices. I paid less than a dollar for each of those. Yeah. That's fantastic. I clipped my coupons. I stacked my digital deals. I had manufacturer's coupons. I had all kinds of things. That's how I got this for 17 cents. So it was on sale. I also had a coupon for $3 off. Then I had a manufacturer's coupon that they honored and hot diggity, there we go. Got that all taken care of. That was fantastic. Less than 17, less than 20 cents. It, it rang up right around 17 cents. That's what I'm talking about, babies. Got the coffee creamer. Now, this is a daily luxury that we don't like to run over. It's very coveted. Sometimes it feels like i got to arm wrestle somebody to the ground for it. I like it. Andrew likes it. And my, my friend Kim comes over. Hello, Kim. She wants a big old pot of coffee with some of that creamer. Now, I just bought almost a year's worth of laundry soap. This is, I don't usually buy Gain, I usually buy Purex because usually that is the cheapest for me. I paid less than $5 for each of these big old jugs. Now this one is 107 uh, washes and it's the original with Aroma Boost. This one is 107 washes with uh, Spring Daydream. Ooh, fancy. Um, you're short of on. 
that's only 214 um, loads. Yeah, it's only 214 loads. If you're using the rip-off little cup that they give you. Now, don't throw these away. These are great for other things. But, yes, yeah, if you're using this little cup and you're using that much in a low-E washing machine, you're using too much stuff, baby. You're going to have a soap aroma. So, I will only use about two tablespoons in each load, and this is going to be more than one year's worth of laundry detergent doing one load a day. Every once in a while, I miss a day. I have a friend who comes over, and I just adore her, and yeah, she likes coffee. She thinks she likes coffee, but she doesn't really like coffee. She just likes um, milk with a coffee-like taste. And honestly, this Hills Brothers Cappuccino English Toffee is her preference. So I buy that for her. She enjoys that. She's super cute. I also stocked up on coffee today. Because around our house, not so much in a luxury, but an absolute necessity. These are 30 ounce coffees. And these were $11 each. Well, with my great coupon and the sale and what have you, I got each of these for less than um, $6 each. Very close to the $5 mark for coffee. Now, let me tell you something. I got this friend. She's really fancy, and I love her. And she's, I always love to come drink coffee at your house, Shorty Vaughn, because you, you know you always have the good Starbucks coffee. And I can tell you this because she doesn't watch. I have this little Starbucks canister that I keep over next to the coffee maker. And honestly, I refill it from these, from whatever is on sale, because I am not brand loyal. But this looks cute sitting on my counter, and we've had it for years. And, what, and people that come in, they don't know the difference. They don't know that I'm refilling it from this. Um, I'm not trying to pull one over on them, but I think it's funny to do it. Yeah, wasn't intentional, but... You know, I wasn't going to contradict her. She was enjoying her, you know, Starbucks cup of coffee. And, yeah, anyhow, those are a great stock up. Those will last us a little while. You know, of course, I had to buy Andrew a gallon of whole milk because, you know, we can't run out. We can't run down. Let's keep on going. Any idea what I've spent on groceries so far? Alrighty then. So, also, I got these two packages of the glucerin. I got the chocolate. And I also got the strawberry. I really like both of them. This one to me tastes very much like Hershey's chocolate milk. And this one tastes like strawberry Nesquik. And those are both delicious. Both of these usually retail for $16.99 each. Each for six. And I wanted to get these because I wanted them um, in, you know, in stock up. But sometimes... I don't have time to blend my shake and one of these a grab and go and get on with it it's a good thing so yeah I saved more than $32 just right here yeah fantastic Dr. Peel's Epsom salts so I got a black elderberry with vitamin D and essential oils that's fancy and a shea butter almond oil and essential oil now let me tell you what to do with these. And the very cheapest place to buy Epsom salts is going to be at your home improvement store in Garden Supply. It's going to be over where the fertilizers are, and it's going to be an enormous bag for like $10. And I, I don't know, maybe it's three pounds, five pounds, something like that. But it's going to be about $10, and yeah. I like to take these. And I like to mix them in to that five pound, three pound bag that's really inexpensive. These are typically about $8 a piece. So that would be $16. I didn't pay anywhere near that. Nope. Anyhow, yeah, so you can stretch these out more. I like these flavors. Um, if you're looking to do something even thriftier, buy the Epsom salts from your home improvement store. And then just use essential oils 
to scent them yourselves um, and, and just keep it in a bucket where you have access to give it a good stir up, um, what have you. That works just fine. If you put it in a little container, it can kind of get solidified in there with the uh, essential oils and the Epsom salt. And if you don't have enough ability to shake, they, they could get really stuck. You, then you have to chisel it out with like a hammer or something like that. Screwdriver. No bueno. My friend um, Susan, hello Susan, told me to clean my sink with Barkeeper's Friend. And honestly, I did not know that it would be okay for it. But I did some research and apparently it's a-okay because this is mild enough. And yeah, there it is. Copper. There you go. It is not a super abrasive, so it is just fine. I'm going to clean my sink with that because the um, silver, the copper polish is really pricey. Yeah, it's really pricey. I've done it myself with some lemon juice. I've done it myself with some vinegar. Cheap mayonnaise really works the best. Not the best foods. That's too expensive, but cheap mayonnaise from the dollar store. Also, got two packages of these trolleys uh, for my little niece, Julie. Well, she's going to be 21 this year. But that's her favorite candy. Got those for her. You know, I don't care how big she gets. I'm still going to buy her candy. You know, a little bit. Absolutely. So, I didn't get any meats because my freezers are absolutely full. I didn't get a lot of veg because we still have plenty from last week. Um, we haven't flown through it this week. We've had a lot of sandwiches. Um, but I got some nice items. Some nice luxury items. The Epsom salts. The uh, quick lucernas. And that strawberry tastes just like strawberry quick. That's not punishment at all. I love it. Uh, the coffee, you know, yeah, for a lot of people that would be a luxury. I think it's a necessity. Maybe my priorities are messed up. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it some thought. Yeah, we got the laundry detergent, the good gain laundry detergent. Do you have a favorite laundry detergent? I like, yeah, I like all the smells. I like it when I'm doing laundry and the whole house smells like laundry and yeah, I don't even mind the bleach cycle. It doesn't bother me when, yeah, it makes my obsessive compulsive heart go pitter patter when my house smells like bleach. I'm just thrilled about it. Anyhow, that's my grocery haul today, my loveys. And uh, yeah, yippee skippy, got a lot of great things. Got some good luxury stock ups. What kind of luxury stock ups would you buy? I would also buy um, bubbles, because I think they're fun. Um, I would also probably get some coloring books because adult coloring is a great way to relax. Take a few deep breaths, especially if you're feeling anxious. You know, just the um, repetitiveness of coloring and shading and what have you. And, you know, thinking about your color choices and everything can put you in a better frame of mind. Um, yeah, what, what would you stock, stock up on? Fingernail polish. Yeah, we went through a lot of fingernail polish in 2020. Um, we, my sister and I also would um, do beauty, uh, be beauty kind of things to each other. Mud masks. We did each other's hair a few times. That wasn't good. I'm glad I wasn't on the tube then. Nobody wanted to see that. But oh, coming up, it's gonna be. I'm gonna give Andrew a haircut. Yeah, gonna bring y'all along for that. You got to stay tuned for that one because it's super funny. All right, my loveys. Well, you know, I got to get all this stuff put away. I don't have too many things for the danger zone, but I don't care. Yeah. Fool, fool friend. I love this little Starbucks canister. I think it's super funny. I also think it's super funny that I am filling it with cheap store brand coffee and my friend will never know the difference. It's true. All right. Be good. Be careful. Look both ways. I gotta go. See you next time.